Hello! Welcome to the show I Have Notes, the show where people with surprisingly full IMDb pages come together and talk about things, creative, animation, and how much my eyes hurt at the end of the day. <laughs> I am your host, Issa Badiola, and joined with me is my lovely co-host, It's the lovely, me, Carrie, the lovely. Carrie Shorecross. Shorecross! Uh, uh, and with us today, we have our regular special guest, uh, Aaron Wynn. Hello. The most specialist. Hello. And then our new special guest, writing supervisor, Eddie Rivas. Hey. It's Ed Boy. We're going to put a pause in. Uh, we're going to put a pause clapping. in the post. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, also, <laughs> okay. Uh, note to post team don't put a pause in. Make, Can make it keep running? Good. Like, just yeah. for a few minutes? Well, I mean, I yeah, that... it's when it, we'll look at the the record for standing ovations, and we'll just go like ten seconds more. Yeah, <laughs> just just yeah. a little bit. Amazing. I think that's perfect. Yeah. Cool. Yes. Yes. How was everyone's week? I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, I'm also tired. It's it's long, and it's Tuesday. It's so. only Tuesday. <laughs> it's, yeah. <laughs> um jeb Rip. jeb said that to me earlier today when we had a video session and he was like yeah it's only tuesday and already i, I just feel like i need a drink and i was, I was like fuck it's tuesday i was so mad <laughs> yeah I was, I was talking to a friend of mine on sunday um like trying to arrange like like go have like a distant coffee with him you know <laughs> and uh, he's coffee. like yeah yeah what what day is it today like wednesday i was like nope it is sunday and he's like oh my god uh oh <laughs> what happened there buddy he was like oh no. he was so what distraught happened? he was like i don't i don't know <laughs> what's going on the number of times that it is it is sunday but i think it's saturday <laughs> far outweigh the number of times that it's saturday and i think it's sunday uh, and then, i really wish it was the other way around y'all how about the number um, of times that it was Sunday and you thought it was Wednesday? <laughs> I'm gonna, I don't think that one's a thing that I've done. Yeah. Uh, you gotta be pretty fucked up to think. <laughs> not like, like a, in the moment fucked up. Not, I'm sure they're a great human being. Uh, I wanna know what their weekend was like. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> what were they doing? Yeah. That's so funny. I, uh, that I like so many, like, I can't remember where it came up, uh, but like, Sundays just turned into pre Monday. It was me. I said it. Was it? it. See, there you go. It was That's me. how tired I am. It was you. And you've said it. And you may have even said it on this show before. It's true. I think you did. But hey, Eddie, I have this new idea. Okay. Uh, this new concept that I want to bring to the table. It's called mm -hmm. Sunday being pre Monday. Yeah, I think that's great. my idea. Thank real you. Life, real life sexism happening right oh, before no. your ass. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Real life Whoa. forgetfulness. Uh, That's true. Okay. I love you, Carrie. Oh, I love you too. I love you too, Carrie. Um, my... Can it be my idea? Yeah, what is it? Is it pre it's Sunday? Is that... it pre Wednesday? <laughs> that Sunday is pre That's a lot of days. Pre Wednesday. Mm -hmm. I think that's. It could be my idea. That could be your idea. I... If, we, if we keep talking about this too long, we're going to go down a three day weekend rabbit hole. Uh, we've been there before too do it rant yeah, about I it i'm i live there that's where i live <laughs> like if on the weekend that's like i mean i just it would help me a lot <laughs> okay. um, how's uh i jumped in there and said i was tired uh how's everybody else doing how's everybody else's weekend that good huh <laughs> well i feel like that's I, solid i don't huh? want to say anything because on the subject of being tired i spent most of my weekend sleeping Oh, nice. That's good. Like, hey, that's in an great. embarrassing, like, it was really good, but at the same time, I feel really guilty, even though I know mm. I shouldn't. Yeah. No, but I don't yeah, feel guilty. I, I don't even want to say how much I think I slept because it was in a ridiculous amount. That's, so, I, I feel that like that was my weekend. I know that, like, I, I've definitely heard before that, like, it's not true that you really have to, like, catch up on sleep or anything like that. Uh, I <laughs> think it's at least a little. <laughs> I think it's a tiny bit true. Like, I think it's like, feel more rested on Mondays than I expect to feel. But then yeah. it's on I think it's, that. <laughs> I think it's important that we don't let science and facts stand in the way of how we feel. <laughs> That's <laughs> very true, right? I don't know if I like where this conversation is <laughs> yeah. going. Oh, don't do it! <laughs> That's very good. In a very good direction to take Eddie, no. uh, all of our, our thoughts. You know what, what's well, wrong? I, I think I they're just... like, 
I've got my, my <laughs> never mind. I'm not Look, I like sleeping and water. I like breathing. <laughs> I'm done. Yeah, I like I, it's probably like I 100 percent down with the idea that it's not like physically true. Like my body doesn't need it, but mm -hmm. I my but my mentally. my soul needs it. Uh, sometimes. Yeah. Like sometimes you just need to sleep for an entire weekend. And I think that mm -hmm. that's like yeah. 100 percent OK. Yeah, I try to tell myself that, but it's ooh, it's hard. Ooh, yeah, boy. Hard. I like yeah. I dipped my toes back into Final Fantasy VII remake this weekend. That was <laughs> I kind of say, I don't my toes back into sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> no, I definitely didn't do that. I definitely yeah. didn't sleep a lot this weekend. Um, no, I like because I hadn't played it in a few weeks, and I'm I'm like on chapter eighteen, seven or right at the Ooh. end of seventeen, oh, on to okay. eighteen. So yeah. it's like right at the end, and I just. Ooh. I just want the game to be over at this point because <laughs> it, it, it. I get that. It just extends there at the end. It extends. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah, it's yeah. like yeah, for, especially for longer games, it's hard to like have that balance of like I am enjoying this experience. I also want to do other things. Yeah, but I've come so far that I can't just stop. Yeah, well, and it's Final Fantasy VII, so I feel like I yeah. have to give it the. But I'm also kind of like this Hojo's laboratory section did not need to be endless <laughs> yes uh, yes i absolutely yeah. still, know what you mean um, yeah i, still I, like, I, just, I want to play last yet. of us too and i'm like mm, but i gotta put in my dues with that yeah. yeah i haven't started final fantasy 7 yet uh so i am taking mental notes of all of this mm. i'm still i'm telling myself to finish death stranding before i jump into final fantasy and i haven't touched it since january because again on the subject of being tired yeah i like after work i'm like Oh yeah, time to play video games, and then I just pass the fuck out. <laughs> I have, so, I have. It hasn't happened, Aaron. If this helps, okay. I have started doing something that has helped me a lot, and this is going to be uh, what I call being a normal adult. Oh no! I've been finding. <laughs> no, 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 well, I've been finding that <laughs> less so, like, interested. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so I've been finding that I. So what I started doing is I started getting up way earlier. Mm. I, our first meeting for the day is usually at 10 o'clock. I used to wake up at 945. Mm. Uh, Relatable. <laughs> yeah. So what I started doing is I started just fucking waking up at seven. Oh, shit. And sometimes I'll work a little bit in the morning. Sometimes I'll exercise. Sometimes I'll play video games. But all of that lets me like if I need to catch up on stuff instead of feeling like I like oh, I should probably like do like one more hour tonight or like I should mm -hmm. kind of check on that. I can do it in the morning when I'm more awake anyways. Mm -hmm. And then my evenings have just been I can do whatever the fuck I want hmm. because I don't See, that would have be this, the smart like, thing to do. Uh, and took, you're implying I'm smart enough to do that. Oh my God, Aaron. <laughs> you are. No, I, I totally, I totally believe you. Like that 100% makes sense to me. I just, I lack the willpower. I'm also like <laughs> sitting here, like knowing Eddie's just like kids. I, was, kids. I, I wasn't going to talk about kids, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> one thing I wish I could like train it's my real. brain to do is to like do fun things in the morning. Because like um, it feels like if I wake up, because I wake up relatively early, but then it's like, I feel like I have to get started on things that need to be done. And if I right. could just like uh, tell my brain, like, dude, it's all right if you get up and play, but it feels like dirty to play a video game at like yeah. 730 in the morning. <laughs> like little, it feels, feels like that's something that, yeah, like it feels like I'm doing something I shouldn't be like. Ooh, let me <laughs> let me just bet. let me just boot up Final Fantasy Seven. It's seven thirty. Oh, mm. I can't be listening to this right now. But if it's like nine uh, thirty or ten and I'm too podcast. tired, I'm like right. Yeah. So yeah, I'm like I have all my energy in the morning. I feel like I should learn to do fun things in the morning, but I my brain just won't let me. I'm like you got to do the things you have to do. Yeah, I definitely like. I I've definitely been leaning into that. Like I'm gonna be tired at night regardless. Yeah. So I might as well just go to sleep. And then have more time in the morning. I, I, to be fair though, Eddie, you're right. Like I don't play games often in the morning, because I usually feel like, well, if I'm up, I should like either start working, get ahead, or like work out. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> you know, I don't know. Uh, it's hard. It's hard. It is hard. I I used to be able to do the morning routine, but it is it was only because of animals, and then subsequently. Mm. We have trained animals to wake up later, which is fucking oh, me no. over. <laughs> uh, I thought you were about to say we've trained animals to do the morning routine. Like... <laughs> yeah. I wish. Just I wish. Get your dog to play Final Fantasy for you. <laughs> Imagine yeah. though. Um, in all of this, 
I say, especially the stuff I'm talking about, all of this is in giant parentheses of life could be so much harder. <laughs> I'm just complaining true. about what very is true. applicable very to me. Yeah. Uh, but uh, that being said, dog training would be also also very good. Um, Eddie, you say that you say you've been watching something lately. Oh yeah, um, in the in at least in terms of like animation and stuff. Last night I watched uh, Undone on Amazon. I don't know what if you guys have heard. I didn't no. hear about it until this weekend, but it's um, it is a. Uh, I feel like I'm actually going to offend people because I don't want to say like it's not real anime. It's like it's rotoscoped. Um, oh, okay. It's okay, got sure. like that skin or darkly look to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, uh, okay. But there are a lot of sequences that are like purely animated. Um, so I can mm -hmm. see why they did the rotoscoping and stuff the way they did. Uh, but it's about a girl that gets into a car accident and then like a portion of her mind unlocks and she can see like a different level of reality oh. um, in a sense. And so I don't want to say too much more than that, okay, uh, okay. but it's, it's really well done and like really well written. And oh. I ended up binging it's eight episodes and they're 20 minute episodes. So I ended up binging mm -hmm. all of it last night, oh, um, basically in one sitting uh, and Bob Odenkirk is in it, which is huge, huge a plus for me. Uh, yeah. I definitely remember <laughs> who that is. Is it better call Saul? Oh, uh, that guy. Uh, okay. Yeah, like, yeah. I hope he so. calls Saul one day. Oh my! Oh, okay. Better do it. Hey. When, but no, when... I I highly recommend it. It is um hmm. the best way I can think of to describe it is it's like uh, Russian Doll on Netflix. Oh, okay. uh, I don't know if any of you guys watch that. It's it's like Russian Doll on acid and animated <laughs> so oh yeah so oh crazy considering how crazy russian doll yes. is as well um <laughs> when he started describing it that my first thought was like oh so the shows eddie ed that eddie is describing is it's you haka show <laughs> <laughs> now i'm very intrigued <laughs> the moment he's a car accident and starts seeing another level of reality i was like so you skate <laughs> is now part of the oh is that world. is that what that is that what that show's about <laughs> oh yeah baby i don't know anything <laughs> about he gets hit and killed by the car yeah um, the like the number of spoilers. times i mean it's first wow. episode i i think i think of you haka show at least once a week <laughs> this is very good i fucking love that show i actually okay what's it uh, on uh you haka show it's on my brain i'm gonna cut it out and watch yeah. it. Yeah, let's. Uh, it used to be on Crunchyroll. It used to be. I don't. Think I think it's, it's yeah. on Hulu. Oh, maybe. Yeah. It might be on Crunchyroll still too. I don't think so. I think it was only on Crunchyroll because when they were still partnered with Funimation, Funimation. Mm. they had mm. it on there. And then once the partnership was done, uh, I think they removed it. Uh, you mean yeah? Well, we I might be wrong. The, the good days. Yeah, um, I, I was I really also, sad when they took it off because uh, I watched that when I was working out at the gym. Hell yeah. Eddie, if you want, uh, I have the Blu-rays. I can like throw at you from the window. You have oh, the nice. Blu-rays? Of course I have the Yu Hakusho Show Blu-rays. <laughs> what are we doing? I've been watching right potato now. quality Yu Yu yeah, Hakusho no, and I can no have way. the Blu-rays. Wait, is it is it only English dub or is it like sub? I think it's got everything. <gasps> I need to check. I may, not, I may only have like the first like two seasons or something. I need oh my a, God, I'm about to see. How many seasons is it? It's like four. I think. Oh. It's only four, yeah. 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 So uh, speaking, this is a great segue uh, mm -hmm. that I'm calling at this time so that Aaron segue. can. Uh, segue! Segue cam. <laughs> um, uh, I finally started watching Hunter x Hunter Ooh, this weekend. Oh, which is, I've been meaning to watch it. Which is the same uh, creator as a Yu Haka show. Oh. Um, and I started watching it. Everybody, please forgive me. Because uh, I finally found out that the dub was out on Netflix. Uh, and it's just Correct. a lot easier for me to watch a lot of episodes so it's like 180 episodes or something like that so i was like i'm gonna watch the dub because i can also play video games and do other things <laughs> at the same time because that's what my life is right now it's like if i if i can't do two things at once i'm not doing it yeah uh, I feel that's like, honestly um, really impressive it's it's a very good show so i would also i think you could dive in there too yu haka show is always gonna hold a place in my heart and also if you're gonna watch yu haka show i think you should watch the dub because I do like the dub. Kuwabara is like it's the best. So good. You're a mishy. You're a mishy. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, I've been both the shows are very good. I've been bouncing back and forth between sub and dub, and every time like I hear uh, sub Kuwabara, just normal Japanese Kuwabara, I'm always like, ah, this 
this is, this is an urbishy. We need a, <laughs> we need a, my boy. Hey, if anybody's out there and bored, uh, can you cut together the first episode of Yu Haka Show, but use the sub of everybody else and then the dub <laughs> from uh, uh, Kuwabara? Um, He's like their foreign exchange student. Yeah, we'll just <laughs> use, they should just use the clips just now of you guys doing it. Yeah, oh, and then right. <laughs> cut that in. It has like some of the cheesiest dialogue ever, but I still love it. Like, there's this part where like he uses like like the main character has like a spirit gun, so he like you know does this and shoots with it. And then at one point he learns that he can do like a shotgun, uh, and he describes it like early in the episode. He's like, it's like a whole bunch of spirit blasts. I think this Kuwabara character is like, oh, I get it. It's just like a whole bunch of spirit guns at once. And then uh, uh, fucking uh, Yu Hakusho, he's like uh, whatever his face is like uh, Yusuke. Thank you. I, I call him Yu Hakusho. Like this is his name. <laughs> Uh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Haka Show is like, uh, <laughs> yeah, like I said, shotgun. It's like very like, was it nineties? It was or so early two thousands. Nineties, yeah. Mm. 90s, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, oh my god. But uh, yeah, so I'm watching uh, Hunter Hunter. The like, uh, it's a 2011 version, which I guess yeah. is the better version. Um, but I did the same. It's funny when you when you. Uh, it's been a very long time since I've binged something. Like I've I've been kind of on like a little anime like hiatus like rut lately. Yeah. Um. But Eddie, when you a second ago you were like, yeah, I watched eight episodes last night. I was like, holy shit. But then I was like, I watched ten episodes of this on Sunday, <laughs> and then five episodes the last two nights. So I'm probably, I'm also guilty of that. <laughs> um, that's my anime story. Cute. Yeah. Anime. If only all of these things were on HBO Max. Speaking oh, of funny thing. Segway. Segway. <laughs> Eddie, we take we take uh we take organic segues very seriously uh, yeah. on the show. Um, we discovered that HBO Max has a whole Crunchyroll collection. Um, Wait, is it the whole collection? I thought it was just a select. Titles. There is a so, there are select titles, but actually, if you go into HBO Max, the, um, there's a whole section called Crunchyroll Collection, and it was. What, like it was recently, shit. yeah, that boutique stuff. Recently, they announced that they added some new um, that new titles are coming, which means more excuses to watch the best anime in the world. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, the titles There's, coming over were crazy. Yeah, we got uh, Aldino Zero, Inuyasha, Inuyasha, um, Inuyasha, really? Kagome, yeah. Mob oh, Psycho wanna... One Hundred, Promise Neverland, and um, Madoka on August Four. Every Whoa. single one of those Ooh. shows are like must watches to me. I, I, don't know. I, I really want to watch Madoka. One? It's please. It's so short. I, still, I also need to watch that. It's so good. Yeah. I here, oh. here's the thing I will say. I, this is, I'm not going to spoil anything. I feel like I've probably heard all the spoilers because I've been told about this show so many times yeah. by so many I, different people. I think out of context, it doesn't make sense. So I think yeah, we're okay. That's true. <laughs> yeah. that's true. Here's what I will say to anybody when they watch Madoka. If you're going to watch it, you you have to watch the first three episodes all the way through. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. If you don't like it, that's totally fine. But if you only watch one episode and give up on it, mm. nah, don't do that. Watch three episodes. I mean, very specific three episodes. And if if by the end of the third episode you're not hooked, that's fine. No worries. I mean, you're bad as a person, but <laughs> that's fine. And then you can you can work on overcoming that. Um, but at least you know. Uh, yes, that's my request. If you're gonna watch, if you're gonna watch Madoka, Madoka. Um, do that, uh, oh, but okay. I'll know Zero is amazing. Uh, what is that one? I've never heard of that. Me that's a. Uh, was is that it Mecca? Or is it more? Yeah, it's 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 it's, it's it's like space slash water sci-fi. It's like <laughs> at, it's at sea for a lot of it. It's a uh, uh, Gin or Butchie wrote it. Uh, uh, okay. I'm, I'm oh, okay. like ninety nine percent sure. Uh, but it's this very like yeah like mech out of water. <laughs> like good. like future tech and past tense or past tech like it almost has like an ender's game oh. kind of thing oh. going on i won't say what part of it uh <laughs> i might spoil it but uh true it's it's i thought it was very good and I, again i think it's only like 12 episodes yeah i'm reading um, the plot summary now I'm yeah really intrigued yeah Ooh. like that promise neverland um oh promise neverland which, is so good yeah which I've is gonna have more about episodes. that too Mm -hmm. It is a show. I think I've talked about this before. It's very rare that I like the editing of an animated show stands out to me, especially anime. Mm -hmm. But like the editing of that show, I thought was was amazing. They do yeah. a lot of really good things with like big, the like pauses in the correct time and like that kind of stuff. It's just it's very very good. Mm -hmm. 
it definitely builds up the suspense in like a very yeah satisfactory way if that yeah, makes sense like ah. a story layout standpoint like they nice. know like when to reveal what information when that kind of stuff oh yeah. interesting hmm. all of these shows are very good like you know it's like there are only like 12 episodes so it's just like i'm gonna just lay on the couch all saturday and, and watch <laughs> anime it's like so a lot of us are working from home now, myself included. Uh, and I don't know about you, but the first couple of weeks, I noticed a lot more eye strain. Um, I wasn't sleeping as well. I was getting more headaches. Uh, and that was stopping me from playing video games. And that's not, I'm not okay with that. Um, but that is where blue light filtering lenses come in. And the best of the best is Felix Gray. Um, their lenses uh, use a proprietary filtering technology to filter out 15 more percent blue light uh, in, in the range that is most effective. Um, most other lenses only do about two to 3% in that range. And that's just, that's just not enough. Um, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna help you sleep. They're gonna help you, uh, help your eye health and, and they're, uh, they're gonna look good doing it. Um, so if you go to felixgrayglassescom slash I have notes, um, you can get the absolute best quality blue light filtering glasses on the market. That's F E L I X G R A Y glasses.com slash I have notes. Uh, shipping returns are totally free at Felix Gray. Um, that's Felix Gray glasses.com slash I have notes. Thanks. It's like, See, that's more of what I need. Out. It's hard for me to watch like series of stuff yeah. these days. Like, uh, not because I'm like crazy busy, but like my attention span for some reason. I mean, you know, maybe a pandemic has something to you do are... with it. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> my attention span like is is not there these days. Oh, yeah. Eddie, I would also say that you are crazy busy. This is true. <laughs> you just said that you weren't, but I would also say that you're pretty crazy busy. Do you want to just for like um, people who are not familiar with stuff? Like, do you want to talk about uh, kind of like what your your role is at RT Animation? Like, kind sure. Of stuff you do. Do it. Yeah, right. um, as the writing supervisor, it's uh, my job to kind of help organize writers' rooms for any upcoming productions that we're doing in RTM. Um, and then I also serve as a co-writer on Ruby, uh, do a lot of brand work with uh, Ruby as well. Um, anytime we work with partners on the comic, uh, the classic novel, which uh, just came out today. Yeah, um, actually, oh, what's it called? Uh, Before, Before the, the Dawn. Dawn. Yeah, nice. Easy yeah, buyers. so. Yeah, yeah, uh, really great job with that book. Uh, yeah. We loved, we love working with him. Um, so it's very nice that it's like finally out there, and it's got a lot of cool details for Shade Academy and Vacuo, and and uh, a lot of characters yeah. that uh, we will see one day in the series proper, maybe. Yeah, maybe. it uh, it's it's been really cool. Sorry, just a tangent, really quick. Like it was, it's been really awesome working with him, and like it's it's also been with uh, EC Myers or with me. You're talking about me, right? <laughs> or with with oh, with I'm sorry. Everyone. I'm sorry. I thought, okay. Uh, but like, like to that's to, the equivalent uh, of like uh, someone waving at someone behind you, at, and no. and then you just pass by them. Yeah, I always just like like if you do that, just look back at them and like wave behind them, and when they <laughs> turn to look, you run. You just run in the opposite direction. But like it, it's it was really cool with that book too. Um, I mean, even more so than the the first one was like explore a new area not in the series first mm -hmm. and like and like get to work with him to like kind of develop some of that stuff and like knowing that yeah you know i'll bet we're gonna see some of that in the series um or those those locations at least um yeah sorry i just want to tangent because i'm i'm very excited <laughs> Isa, <that> the book <laughs> for the uh, audio listeners isa's getting really close to the camera uh -huh. looking at you uh, sorry eddie yeah brand you do a lot of like a lot a lot of that stuff that's like you know is it, it, it you know not not so much anymore of like the is this the correct name of the weapon but like is this yeah. something that yang would say um yes. you know or or oh do we have that person's semblance name uh nope okay well let's figure that out um that kind of stuff yeah so all that kind of stuff and then yeah serving as a co-writer on ruby volume nine right now as well so that's yeah a lot, of, a lot also of writing working with the direct team on the stuff that they write Bam, bam, bam. Segway, bam, bam, segue, bam, segue, bam, segue, segue. Oh wait, no, we're not segueing yet. We could. <laughs> I, mean, I was like, we oh could. shit. I mean, that's too late. Good. We crossed the segway bridge. I mean, we, yeah, we've crossed the segway we've bridge. We have to. Segway. I already did it. I already did yeah. it. I thought, yeah, I thought you were you were lobbing it off to me, and I I made a mistake. But now hey, we're you, in it. You caught the ball. That's all that matters. Yeah. Only true. the smoothest on I have notes. Yeah. <laughs> what's uh? What's you got a, notes on my segway. A new a new project that you're working on right now. Yeah, so uh, we'll, we are announcing today, I guess, by the time this comes out, uh, Ruby mm -hmm. the Grim campaign, which is our yeah. uh, 
our Ruby themed D and D show that uh, we've Whoa. been working on for the last couple of months, and uh, will be premiering on August fifteenth for first members. Wow! Nice, nice. I'm so excited. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's gonna be no it's gonna be super in cool. Particular. Yeah. So uh, won't be talking too much about like kind of cast and kind of characters, but. Carrie is a part of it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's so, true. Yeah. So uh, I think I think it's going to be a whole lot of fun. Um, you know, we're working kind of with uh, some homebrew rules for for D and D to make it feel a little bit more like Remnant uh, that we've been working on in the background. So it'll it'll feel like Ruby. It'll play like Ruby. Um, I think there will be potential for lots of cool stuff. I'm trying to think about like what I can and can't say, like what's going to be in the teaser. Um, we, uh, I think we, we, we're not ready to talk about stuff yet, but we, we're definitely trying to incorporate some cool visual elements. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Some cool visual elements to make it stand out from some of the other D and D content. Uh, I will that... say this is not the announcement. I will say that uh, I've already during a play test had to slack Eddie and say, am I being too annoying? <laughs> so get ready for yeah. that energy. Yeah, there's uh, some of that energy. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Um, I, I don't want to say what it, I mean. It's not in the show. It was a playtest thing. But all, all yeah. I'm going to say is somebody did a roll, did a check on something to try and do something, and then I just looked at them and said, "I want to also do that." <laughs> and then I rolled just a little bit higher, and then said, "I did it better." Yeah, that's that's, that's energy that. That's I'm basically bringing. how that worked. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, I, I guess I didn't. Stupid. I didn't quite say this earlier, but if, through context clues, uh, I'm going to be DMing the adventure that we're going to be yeah. doing. Um, so yeah, the th what I can say about it is that it's going to take place in Mistral, because uh, that's an area that hasn't gotten a yeah. super ton of love in the Ruby show. Uh, yeah, we so, definitely want to do more there. Yeah, giving, giving our uh, campaign some time to explore uh, in and around Mistral. Um, and I'll probably leave it there for now the the goal is to do something that um i'm going to be careful about how i say this <laughs> the goal will be yeah. to do something that that could exist um canonically alongside uh the rest of the series but obviously at a certain point um it's D, &D so we're not gonna lock yeah. people in okay. um, yeah, yeah it'll be a it'll be a fun experiment uh we're, to see where we land we're at least with trying it. yeah, yeah. <laughs> what yeah eddie have you ever dm'd before at all I actually have never DM'd before until now, Ooh. so it's a uh, yeah. That's 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 a little adventure uh, for for what's worth. Just in the test we've done, uh, did couldn't tell. That's good. That's good to know. <laughs> I, Yay. I, thought, uh, I thought you were doing a pretty good job. Yeah, I mean, I'm like I'm less like I've played quite a bit of D and D. Um, so mm -hmm. like any time I'll be fuzzy on the rules. I understand like Remnant and Ruby pretty well, and so at the end of the day, we're telling like so. a Ruby story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. That makes it that that feels really comfortable, and mm. I don't know. It was the play test has been a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, that's so I'm just, cool. yeah, I'm excited because I like I've played before, but we've never I've never played enough or like like finished out like a campaign or a story before. So now I'm required to for work. <laughs> it's like, everybody has to hang out with me. Um, <laughs> For better or worse. Yeah. That's uh, just like I, I tricked everybody on this podcast every week. <laughs> Ethan that's, that's have it, to talk to me. That's how it that's how it organically came to be. Carrie yeah. just mm -hmm. kind of that tricked you. <laughs> oh, here Whoa. we've got some uh we've got a little bit Whoa. of show art here. Cool. Um I didn't think we were going to show this. Yeah, yeah, I, f I forgot that we were going to show it. Actually, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, we've got some. This is a uh, man. Part of me wants to say it. No, I'm not going to say it yet. But this is a new Don't area of Mistral that we've never been to before. So, Gotta tease it. yeah. Gotta keep them coming back for more. Mm -hmm. And there'll be if you're listening to this on the audio version. There's a we'll be putting out a teaser uh, the day this comes out. Um, if you want to go watch that too, mm -hmm. that'll have some mm -hmm. of the stuff in it. Mm -hmm. What so were I, I I'm so interested in the idea of DMing, if only because it is like an interesting idea just to like build the world. But also, I think there's a lot of other scenarios that you really have to like think up of in order to kind of I guess put a read to the rest of the crew that you're working with. What mm -hmm. is I'm curious. What are your favorite parts of trying to of being a DM in terms of like building something, and what were the hardest parts that you had to come across when you're thinking about building? So, the, so what's interesting is that some of the play tests that we've done, I, I don't want to get too specific with it because it might borrow some of it Spoilers. for, yeah, oh, okay. I might borrow some of it. Um, 
maybe, but we did a couple of play tests, one with broadcast just to like test to make sure that our homebrew stuff was working right. And then we've done another play test, okay. but it was the same scenario, but with the cast and uh, their characters yeah. and stuff. And it played out wildly different <laughs> uh, with both <laughs> of them. Funny. Uh, so it, it was funny because like the, the fun stuff is like getting kind of thinking of what everyone can do and like thinking up of uh, the scenario for them to kind of like be able to play with. Mm -hmm. The hard part is um, when every, I mean, this is like, I feel like most people know this when, if you've DM'd before that it's when everyone throws you a wrench and you're like, <laughs> I did not foresee this at all. And then, <laughs> no. uh, it, it makes planning a longer story a little bit difficult, but I've, I've been playing with some ideas around how to, cause I really don't want to railroad anybody. I don't mm -hmm. want to force anyone down a path. Mm -hmm. It's more of like, I want to create kind of a scenario and an area and things are going to be happening at a certain time. And it just depends where the characters are when those things happen. Um, and what for, is kind of like what angle they're going to be able to view that kind of stuff from and mm -hmm. kind of whose perspectives they'll have on it. So, and then I'm going to get in the way, <laughs> carry the wrench. Yeah. So, so it means a lot of prep work for kind of like NPCs and like what, mm -hmm. who we're going to be talking to in the area, as opposed to like, oh, they're going to talk to this person and then this thing's going to happen. It's more of like, here's all the information that everybody has and all their goals. And then I'm just going to like throw them into the mix and see how they affect the world around them. Oh, cool. Wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm I, never yeah, got, oh. no, go ahead, go ahead. I never got super into D and D, uh, but I'm very excited to watch this. My my only experience playing is uh, when I was taking a game development class in college, and it was kind of like uh, like my professor was DMing. He's like, "All right, if you've never played before, we're gonna have a little session right now." Cute. So it was like maybe six or seven of us. And most of us were wizards, and then we had one paladin. Oh, and it was really chaotic. Good team comp. Oh. Good team comp. Yep. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, that also, uh, yeah, <laughs> definitely sounds like your professor just wanted to play D and D. Yeah, likely. instead of like you know, I, it was one of those professors where he was like, it wasn't his like passion to be teaching this class, but mm -hmm. he had to. Oh, that's <laughs> so, so funny. He was a good professor, but yeah, you could tell like it was. This How? was his calling. He should have yeah. taught it like a D&D &D class. Oh, there you go. And I would have dropped out. <laughs> <laughs> He's been like nerds. Yeah, I nerd think you're too like introverted to get into D&D. &D. You have to, you have to become somebody else. Yeah, I don't, yeah. Ugh, I don't like that. You have to I, climb into another soul. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no thank you, gross. I can feel that, I can feel that energy, Aaron, if only because there's, there are a few times where um we've tried I've tried role playing and not mm -hmm. necessarily in D and D capacity, but also like in a scenario without D and D in a scenario with where it's just like role playing. And in mm -hmm. both instances, it was difficult for me to try and like understand where to navigate. I'm definitely like that person who's kind of just like, uh, how do I put it? I'm more ready for single player mode as opposed to yeah. multiplayer mode. I get that. Like, um, so D and D definitely is an interest, a more interesting. It's an it's an interesting idea, but I also think I'm not really wired that way. So yeah, it's I have a small like lizard brain where I'm like, Ooh, need my video games, need music, need visuals. I just I think <laughs> the, the best way to start out is to just like the next time you go through like the drive through McDonald's, role play there. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> like pretend to be like an eccentric billionaire, and like oh this fry. I, this will not do and then like you can like go on like a whole spiel and then it's like that way you could you know you can like try it out see go to best buy and like ask ask best about buy? their best buy. their i guess you can't go to best buy anymore go to the curbside and ask about their chromecast <laughs> nice. but in like a a french accent mm -hmm. um like you're on vacation how do you say the chromecast exactly <laughs> see you're the already there chrome because <laughs> really i, like I just this... like Billionaire at McDonald's angle, though. That's, <laughs> I mean, cheese burger, a burger. The, mm. Mm. <laughs> You're asking me if I would like cheese. Of course I would like cheese. What do you think? Here's I, a $100 bill. I'm purely basing it off of, it. like, if I ever made a lot of money, I would still eat at McDonald's. So, like, I don't understand why there's not more rich people 
like in the drive through I guess they, they just send somebody instead. They, but yeah, probably they have a somebody. McDonald's in their mansions. They have a, they have sure. a McDonald's McMansion. boy. <laughs> McMansion. <laughs> I I require an egg McMuffin at at not at ten thirty five every day. Yes, I know that's past breakfast. That's the point. <laughs> I want to show that I have money. I can buy that egg McMuffin past hours. I like the way you said money. Well, you're money. Like right now. <laughs> yeah, that's the important part. You have to have moxie. Uh, which I think is just another word for like racism. I think that's what Moxie <laughs> is. <laughs> I don't know anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna go edit the Urban Dictionary. Yeah, for Moxie. I, I do. I do feel like it, it might have something to do with like privilege. And, there you go. And yeah, like racism. Flexing, flexing the privilege. You know. There you go. Yeah, that's probably a better a which, better phrasing which, for that. Which, what? yeah, racism also. Yeah. <laughs> of course, yeah, that's kind of a history. Uh, we, yeah. can, I, we should fix this, but. I, I, uh, to go back to d d if that's okay, everyone. <laughs> Please. <laughs> you don't want to talk about racism more? <laughs> Please. I'm or I've already made myself uncomfortable enough. Please. The, um... I'm waiting for all the comments that are like, that Anna Sandler Obama guy was making. <laughs> <laughs> That's what people always say. Inevitably, inevitably, when I'm in a video, there are comments that are like, "That guy looks like Adam Sandler and Obama," and I'm like, "I don't understand." (laughs) I mean, Eddie, I love you, but I mean, like, I see it. I can. Uh, You gotta understand a little. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I think. I honestly. I think you know. It's. It's a. It's a haircut, head shape thing. More than anything else. Maybe. True. The Adam Sandler one, I'm like, okay, maybe like the haircut head shape thing. It's the young Obama one that like I really don't yeah. understand. That might be a little bit people just being like dark haircut. skin. Like, oh, probably, oh, no. yeah. Not probably in a good some, way. That's what I'm saying. Probably like, some racism in there. <laughs> some moxie. Probably, is that what that's there's, called? there's like a guy right now typing that comment and then heard and you say like, that was like backspace, backspace. <laughs> Too much or moxie. Gonna the opposite, and it's gonna be nothing but. Oh god, I probably shouldn't have said anything. Yeah. <laughs> it's one it's okay. or the Just, other. You can't. There's I invited no this. Lean into it. I've been Fat Michael Sarah for years now. No. You, just, <laughs> you just gotta fucking just lean into it. There's a there's a there's a gift from uh, Uncut Gems where he's like, I disagree, and like I oh, want to yeah? r- like paste that into every response. <laughs> Hey, there's a thumbnail idea. <laughs> or or somebody can clip you saying that, and now oh, we God. can make that a gift, <laughs> it's a big gift. That, with the same tags. So if you search for it, you get both of them. I need to like go look at it and figure out how to mimic what he's doing. Yeah. Then, which will I'm be sorry. easy because we look like the same person. <laughs> I'm not going to say Sandler, you can Eddie, do... and Obama. I'm not next saying. To each other. It's just three Eddies. I think you should. It's, it's the, the same, same picture. I'm just saying that like I can see it. I think you should do like a RuPaul drag race thing where you lip sync. <laughs> no, so, and okay, that'll so, be your skit. Not to talk about this for too much longer because I feel like I've now completely <laughs> okay. hijacked the conversation. Yeah, I was, I, I was no, like, was somebody was content. talking. It no, was I'm me. Not... <laughs> That's right, it was you. I'm sorry. It was, uh, no, like, uh, I've told this to you guys in private, but never. Jeff Goldblum told me I looked like Adam Sandler <laughs> when oh, I met Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> I don't remember this. Yeah, Wait, talk I about meeting this. Jeff Goldblum. That's so much more interesting. Well, there was, so there was uh, there was the what Jurassic World Evolution video game. I think it was called Jurassic World Evolution. I should know the name because I went to the press event for it or whatever. But I, it was. Uh, oh, I think, it's, I think it's okay that you forgot it. <laughs> so me, me, Josh uh, Flanagan, and Chris Maris all went to it, and uh, part of the thing was they had brought Jeff Goldblum out, and they were letting all these different like streamers and YouTubers like interact with him and like do little bits and he he was a champ because he sat there through a bunch of like really not funny jokes while people just well people were just trying to do dumb bits with him and we did like a dumb bit i say we i wasn't on camera i like brought them the piano they did a bit where they were they had like one of those little like yeah the toy pianos and then he played the jurassic park theme and like sang along with it but (laughs) he he kept looking at me before we filmed and he just (laughs) was like and he kept saying my (laughs) name there's the picture yeah and he like kept saying, he's but like, where's Eddie? All I see is Obama. <laughs> <laughs> but he kept being, he kept being like, Eddie, 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 Eddie. Who do you look like? You look like a, like a, a young, a young Mr. Adam Sandler. 
And, the, well, this, Adam Sandler. and I was like, God dang it. Like, <laughs> even you, Mr. Goldblum, <laughs> even you. I feel like somebody, somebody with that status taking interest in me is like scary to me. Like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's almost like mob boss of like, uh, what am I going to do with you, Eddie? Eddie, 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 Eddie. Yeah, no, he was weird. He kept saying my name. He's like, Eddie, 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 Eddie. Just like, and I'm like, I'm not in this bit. I'm just standing to the side. I'm just bringing the piano. <laughs> I'm, I'm crew, please. Yeah. Your eyes. <laughs> oh my God. Even. This yeah. is very good. Okay. Uh -oh. Who sorry, I completely interrupted whatever oh, Isa was saying. Sorry. What were we talking about? I was, we wanted to talk I about D&D. I was going to go back to D&D. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, that. <laughs> Let's uh, travel back in time. Uh, <laughs> the one thing I was going to say was <laughs> it is probably easier for you to play D&D if you are embodying a character that is not you. Because so mm. many times I always play like the white mage, which is kind of what I normally am uh and that's now, never you define fun. that for me please is that like it's a, like a helping people thing it's a helping people I, this thing. is not another racism bit no <laughs> like, I, that's where i thought I, you no, were going no, no, i was no, like no, no. i was like no someone no, I just like you boxy mage. <laughs> no i just wanted to like what, what, do you, what do you how do you define it how do you uh, identify as a white mage like so, what is it I, you, can't, always, you can't you can't magically always... heal people so what qualities are you talking about this is turning way more accusatory then I meant it. I just wanted it to be not a race thing. Bro, you need to back <laughs> off. <laughs> oh no, see, no. <laughs> God, um, this is, what a great last episode of Five Nights. <laughs> Your last episode. That's right. <laughs> oh God, it's so funny. I'm sorry. Um, uh, I made his go. I'm so I'm normally support class, so I say white mages, uh -huh. but before I was um my last campaign or this last campaign I was in, I was a bard, but it was mostly support class, so it's always like, mm. oh, I'm healing people, or oh, I'm giving, I'm hoping for a status effect, or oh, I'm not outright hurting anyone, but I'm just hypnotizing mm. you, um, and that sucks. Like that is not that is not um, oh, it's not. Mm, it was boring for me, if only because mm. there was a point where I was like, I just want to do something. And yeah, okay. I, I learned, I just want to kill. I just want to yeah, I need rage. to taste blood. <laughs> <laughs> and said. I learned that a lot of people are actually in the same boat as me, where they're like, ah, this is just boring. And then all they want to do is be like a paladin or um, mm. an orc. And then they just like rage. And it's like, <laughs> oh, I see. That's how you do it. Oh. Now, Isa, if you could, if you could lie down on this couch, um, is okay. that, do you, do you feel like, <laughs> do you not feel like the main character in your own life? Is that, is that something? Oh, uh, yeah. Let's follow this. Into? Please don't actually seriously answer. Please don't actually <laughs> no, do answer it. that question. We don't have to get too real. Do it. Eddie's, do it Eddie the instigator Eddie Revis. Do it and then know. charge Carrie like $75 for this hour. Oh, wait, it's the other way around. <laughs> Yeah, oh wait, no, it, true, it is the true. other way around. Carrie would charge yeah, you. Yeah. Also, yeah, where are you finding this discount therapist? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. What characters do you guys would uh, do you normally play, Eddie mm. and Carrie? Since Carrie, did you mention that you played a lot of DnB? I, I play. I played a little bit. I this is and this is not representative necessarily of what I'm doing. Uh, I I tend to like being in like RPGs in general. I tend to like being like a uh, like the mage, like a ah. caster. I magic see. type person um, the glass cannon as they call them mm -hmm. oh yeah yeah you oh watch out for me oh you got close to me uh oh shattered <laughs> um yeah in my last campaign that i played in um i played as a mage who was like a local hero but he, he was full of shit like all of his <laughs> stories <laughs> like every story was like we'd fight some goblins or something and it'd be like this reminds me of the time that i slayed the it, but it was it was always a lie oh it's it, you were gilderoy lockhart <laughs> yes yeah okay. basically okay. yeah harry potter reference but we don't talk about her oh no <laughs> yeah more, more like uh should we get like another is, is can we call it something else now um uh, uh nary farter uh done <laughs> done got it in Harry one Potter. carry potter oh. carry potter there Harry you go potter. i'd read that perry hotter carry hotter <laughs> no perry hotter perry hotter that sounds good <laughs> aaron, aaron i know you i guess it may be like not in D, but like in rpgs or something like what what's oh, your yeah, what's your go-to class Ooh, i don't know 
I don't really play. I don't really think of it. I don't really play that many RPGs, RPGs. either. Are you, You're not a fucking so... nerd like the rest of us. <laughs> no, yeah, honestly. <laughs> Are, do you find that you tend to take the path that is more like straightforward, like you like attacking people, or would you rather go the stealth route? Probably um, stealth route. Honestly. Ooh, okay, okay. Yeah. Maybe okay. a rogue or something. Is that a dating class? Yeah, you might, you might be. Yeah, you're probably as chaotic as a rogue, frankly. Rogue <laughs> is, is actually what they. Yep. Yeah, it's rogue. What they rogue. Rogue. Yeah. A rogue. Yeah, I I could definitely see you playing a game like. Like I could see you playing Skyrim crouched ninety five percent of the oh, time. Oh yeah, 100%. <laughs> yeah. I, I, if I could, I would play every game like as a stealth game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, oh, for a lot of games, there's not a lot of stopping you. Oh, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking make. I've seen some, <laughs> I've seen some Mario stealth runs. Uh, you just wait. You have to. You can only kill enemies when their backs are turned. Oh. <laughs> That's not a real yep. thing, but it should be. I, oh. I'm gonna make it a real thing now. <laughs> yeah. Mario stealth run. That's good. Done. <laughs> I'm trying to wrap my brain around it. <laughs> I say like, I think I'm good on the first level, like that one I can get in my head. It's yeah. every level after that that I don't think would work uh, at no. all. Yeah. Um, hmm. Not even a little bit. I am full disclosure. I am very tired, y'all. Oh, no. Remember how I said I was getting up early every morning? Oh no! <laughs> How's that been going? I so I did get up early this morning. However, I did I not did go up. to bed until one last night. Um, so oof. I did. I'm doing the the second part of it, but not the first part of it. Uh, uh, so that kind of like messed me up. Hey, I, you know what? It's a step. It's a step. It's a you're, very you're, sleepy you're on your way. step. I had all I these step plans ahead of me. I was trying so. to make up like a like a name for that. You know how like old people always have sayings for like, <laughs> oh yeah, like one in the hands worth two. And I was, <laughs> yeah. I was trying to be like, yeah, oh, you pulled a halfsies. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah, uh, you you took the worm before it cooked. <laughs> these these sound like colisms at this point. They really do. <laughs> One in Rome, in. built it in a day. Yeah. <laughs> we need a we need to make a book of colisms and just like <laughs> we can make money off of it, not him. We'll be yeah. his agents, so he'll he'll get a cut. Yeah, he'll he'll get like good, a good cut. But then everyone else is also gonna get a cut. <laughs> yeah. Colisms and Cole making up light novel titles. Yeah, that's, that's, very that's good. a pretty good one. <laughs> that's and what I wanna see. <sighs> yeah. I uh <laughs> one thing I was gonna ask y'all, and this is like uh I think it'd be you know, good because Eddie you're here too, is like and this is some stuff we talked on like touched on like a little bit here and there, but it, you know, it's it's always nice to get more voices into is like how how are y'all doing with creativity mm. these days i uh last couple of weeks i've been struggling a good bit of just like i think it's a combination of like you know last couple of months being the way they have been and also you know sitting at the same desk mm -hmm. all day and not getting like a chance to like you know i feel like a lot of like storytelling is also like people watching or like having mm -hmm. experiences oh, yeah, that you can then like apply mm -hmm. to a story and i feel like i'm not having experiences anymore mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's real yeah. my most exciting experience lately is going on evening walks and looking at the sunset that <laughs> sounds been lovely very nice. it's, it is mm -hmm. very lovely but i'm like wow this is the highlight of my week <laughs> is going for a walk Look, we so. gotta we gotta take everything. We gotta take what we can get. Yeah, mm -hmm. take what we can get. My my highlight has typically been uh, realizing that I have like a clean mask and I don't have to do laundry yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's been like the cool thing. I'm like, all right. See, I I for a little while I was getting a lot of enjoyment out of cooking, but lately I'm just like I'm so tired of making food every day. <laughs> <laughs> You know, uh, are you are you still like cause you, Eddie, you work out a lot and you you like when we we're in the office, you're doing you also did like a lot of meal prep like you, mm -hmm. you, you ate uh, uh, a frustrating amount of food and looks <laughs> and looks still look very good uh, is how I would phrase it. Uh, are you do you do you meal prep when you know you're going to stay at home? How does that work? Yeah, I still meal prep just so I can like grab you know, just mm. be able to grab something that's already ready instead of having to like stop and make mm. myself something all the time. Mm. Uh, but even that's getting like really annoying right now because mm. it before you could supplement it with 
like other stuff that you could like buy at the grocery store or buy out. And now it's like, well, I don't want to go to the store more than I have to. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of like, I am now meal prepping everything mm. and it gets, it gets really, uh, yeah, it gets, it gets old. And I just kind of stopped eating as much just cause I didn't want to make the food. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, so, I, I yeah. Get that, yeah. I'm like, eh, I'll just skip a meal out of the six I used to eat <laughs> every day. Six meals a day? Holy fuck. I, again, <laughs> frustratingly amount of food. Yeah. I'm sitting over here like, I mentioned McDonald's 45 minutes ago. I might go to McDonald's after this. Like, that's where I'm at. <laughs> we talked a lot about McDonald's this podcast. Yeah, they should give us money. Uh -huh. We would drive so much, so much business to them. We would. On the topic of like, creativity, ah. I think lately, because I've done less actual art generating as an art director and more mm. like I've been providing more feedback and mm. like doing fixes, um, I've definitely drawn a lot less during work. Mm -hmm. So now I feel more motivated or like energized to do art outside of work. So like, that's cool. Once the day's over, I have like have a piece I'm working on. So mm. I'm excited to get to that. So I can't really comment on creativity within the office, but I mean, as I long as it's taking, happening, taking somewhere. a break from it definitely has helped in a way. Yeah, I've been I've been thinking about uh, uh, we we should maybe we should start a segment where it's like, what's the creative thing you're gonna do next week? Mm. Um, I've uh, a while ago I dipped into Blender a little bit, and I was gonna get oh, back cool. into it um, mm. since the new version came out, and I haven't really messed with that, but. Uh, just, yeah, it's nice to do something that, maybe that's something I need to do, is like something that's just not like work. I mean, yeah. I know, you know, 3D software is related, but I don't do any of that. I don't know how. Yeah, yeah. So that's that something I tried to do me. for a little while was music on the side, just because oh, it's, yeah, yeah. it's so hard to write for myself, um, you know, when you're Dude. writing all day. And then, yeah. uh, but still want to be able to like act on those creative impulses. So for a little <laughs> bit, I was trying to just do a thing where I made like a shitty track of music every month. Like, I didn't want to pressure myself too much where I was like, mm -hmm. you got to make one a week, you know, um, and that kind of fell off pretty hard when, um, like I, my guitar broke. And so then I had to get it oh. fixed and stuff. But okay. now, now that we're kind of back in this scenario where it's like, oh, I've got more time. I keep saying to myself that I need to like get music out. Cause when I try to write at night, it just doesn't mm -hmm. do anything. Yeah. Um, Part of my creative process is I need to move around a lot. Like I just can't stay in the same place. So like at work, you know, when we were in the office, I was in and out of the office all the time because it was like, I was on a loop of like, just, I had this triangle of places that I would go just to stay moving and change my view. Mm -hmm. And I, now that is next to impossible. So I, little... <laughs> I, I definitely take that for granted. Or I, I'm realizing I took that for granted. The fact that I could just be like, I don't like writing in this spot. I'm going to go write mm -hmm. in another spot. And now my spots are, are severely diminished. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I feel two ways about it. I feel like that. I also wish, like, this is going to sound all sappy. I wish I hadn't moved around so much and that I had done more moving around in the office. Because now I'm like, because we were on writing time, like pretty hardcore mm. for Ruby 8 when the pandemic hit. Um, so I was just not in the office a whole lot. And now I'm like. I really miss oh, no. everybody. <laughs> yeah, you know, like God, I wish I had been around a little more. I miss going to the office. Yeah. yeah. I'm definitely an introvert, but being around people, I've realized like does make me really happy. Yeah. yeah. I miss you guys. I miss your presence. Yeah. Your life forces. It's the, the whole like I, I'm an introvert, so I'm not gonna go to the party, but if you don't invite me, I'm gonna be really sad. <laughs> yep. One hundred percent. I just I just wanna be around people and maybe <laughs> maybe sometimes we'll interact, but mostly I just wanna like see people mm -hmm. we'll yeah. get there or we'll develop bubble suits and we could just yeah. like and wear then hug those each and other with a yeah <laughs> i saw i saw my cousin this weekend um she's like one of my favorite people on the planet uh we like Aww. we're like cousin soulmates like we just get each other uh, awesome. really well um i saw her this weekend and like we kind of talked about it before like we've been quarantining like super well like um, mm -hmm. just in like really limiting who, especially over the last couple of weeks. And then she has two. And so I was like, okay, well, let's, I, can I hug you? You know, like, and it was, oh, weird. Yeah. I was like, I hadn't hugged anybody that wasn't like, you know, that doesn't live with me in, I can't remember how long it was really strange. Um, oh, I got like, yeah. I felt, I got like a little emotional afterwards. Oh. <laughs> I was oh, like, no. this is like oh, human yeah. contact, you know? Oh, that's a feel. Yeah. I feel like this is not, I don't know any medical things at all. So don't 
quote this, but it's like, I I hope that's something that like we can start doing at some point, or is like if that's like the the way to get back into this is just like, like not like increasing your bubble. Yeah, if that makes sense, like not just like oh anybody now, but it's like oh wait, okay, you're part of my group now. Uh, yeah, like yeah. we can hang out, kind of thing, because mm-hmm. we're being safe outside of that. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Listen to doctors. Don't listen to me. Don't, don't <laughs> yeah, let's not let's not let the science get in the way of. Um... Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. When I wear a mask, I'm just like. <gasps> no, I'm just kidding. It's really easy. Please wear a mask. You guys are so funny. <laughs> the uh, the best way is just to like ha- n- never let them know when you're serious. I am being serious. though wear a mask. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. And that is probably the best way we could end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me just saying, wear a damn mask. Wear a damn mask. Um, it was nice to see everyone. And yeah. I, too, mm-hmm. miss everyone. I I would like to hug everyone. I can feel it. I, I can feel it. it. Feel the cosmos. I feel it. Oh, Eddie. Oh, Eddie. Oh, Eddie. Oh, Come on. Oh, oh, Eddie. Yeah. Eddie's hand went a little low. <laughs> I went low on Perry. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. Um, and thank you, audience, for watching and or listening. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to this please. show. I have notes uh, so you guys can uh, keep track when the next episode comes out. If you have notes, please comment. Tell yeah. us. Uh, tell us what you think. Tell us what you think of Eddie and why he is much better looking than Adam Sandler. <laughs> what about and Obama? I think he's tied with Obama. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's, uh, that's fair. Yeah, that's one, that one's hard to top. Uh, yeah, yeah. Honestly, but, I mean, I think it's okay. he's a very handsome man. And also, if you're if you're doing creative things, tweet it at us, and Ooh. and maybe we'll share it. Um, if you do fan art, share it. Yeah, let's I keep like getting fan art. The I'm creative an juices flowing. <laughs> and keep an eye out for um, what was the uh, campaign yet again? Ruby the Grim campaign. The Yay. Grim campaign. Yay. And also check out Before the Dawn. New before novel. The dawn. Mm-hmm. New novel by E.C. But, Myers. Hey, before the next dawn, I need you to check out Before the Dawn. That's that's the that's the tagline. So tonight. Update tonight. Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> Bye everybody. Bye, love you. <laughs>